Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this video. A common question that I get on my lawn care videos is how I achieve such good stripes in my yard. Today, let's go over a few tips and tricks on how I maximize the stripes in my yard and how you might do the same in yours. First and foremost, striping requires no special equipment or skills, although certain equipment can certainly make the stripes more defined. Striping is achieved by simply bending the grass in different directions so that it reflects light back to our eyes making it look lighter or darker depending on the direction that we bend it. Some grass types will stripe better than others. I have cool season grass and this is especially nice for striping. For those of you with warm season grasses, you may find it a little more difficult to achieve well-defined stripes in your lawn. The thicker your lawn, the better defined your stripes will be. It's still possible to stripe a thinner lawn, but your best looking stripes will come from a lawn that is as thick as carpet. The higher that we cut the grass, the more we can bend the blades over and reflect light. I cut my grass around two and three quarters inches in the spring and fall, and all the way up to three and a half inches in the summer to help the yard deal with the heat. This tall grass helps our stripes as well. It is a fact that some mowers will just stripe better than others, but you can also look at some equipment to add to your mower that can help you achieve better striping. Look for anything with a little bit of weight to it that you can pull behind your mower to lay those blades of grass down as you pass over them. Some mowers come with rollers behind the deck, or you could purchase a roller that attaches to the back of your mower. This is often called a striping kit. My mower has no striping kit of any kind and just makes its stripes from the flap behind the deck. Most likely if you have a push mower, yours has a flap like this too. Here's a shot of my front yard striped with a cheap push mower that you could get anywhere. So there's proof. There's no special equipment needed to get stripes in your yard. Practice makes perfect and it takes practice to learn your equipment and to learn to achieve the straightest lines possible. Starting in the corner of your yard with the first stripe can help you make the straight first pass and then you can continue the stripes from there. And one final tip that I've derived from personal experience is that I seem to get the best stripes when I double cut my lawn. This means that I've cut the yard once and then I will often go over the same area again at an angle to my original stripes and pattern. Sometimes I'll also lower the deck a quarter of an inch for the second pass. Not only does this leave great stripes, but it helps to make my lawn look completely flat and just carpet-like as possible. So there you have it, a few tips to help you achieve the best stripes in your yard. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.